This podcast is sponsored by the audio and music courses at BNU, celebrating over 25 years of music education and innovation. another episode of Let's Talk BNU. Today I'm joined by Victoria who is a photography student here at BNU. Hi there guys. So we're going to kick off of just asking some questions about how Victoria is finding the course. So how are you finding it so far? I love photography here at BNU. May only be two years old but it doesn't feel like it. Great. We feel like we've been a family for a really long time. Yeah. I don't regret my decision coming here to BNU. No. So what made you choose BNU out of other universities? The open day was an online talk. I joined during the pandemic. The whole system crashed. <laughs> and then I got an email from assistant course leader, Tracy Sherwood, mm -hmm. and she said, can we talk on the phone? I was like, yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so I got a phone call and she explained the course. Yep. And then I got told I could be on her first year instead of foundation because I didn't think I'd got the grades. Great, here, here you are today. So we're just going to cast your mind back to your first year. So obviously you're in your second year now, but what were some of your first year highlights? Was there anything that stood out? Anything modules or guest speakers or anything in particular? Like first year was amazing. Great. I don't think I would ever regret okay joining during did you have COVID. any guest speakers in your first year anyone come in so, and speak to you about yeah we had online talks so okay. creative futures week happens every year for the art and design field we had two online talks that coincided with an assignment she kind of linked them both together we had photographer mandy barker who's a scientist right she works with plastics mm -hmm. uh, that are found on beaches uh, in seas i think i've seen her work actually uh, yeah. Yeah. Mandy Barker is amazing. Like, her work is phenomenal. And we also had Craig Easton, who's more of, like, a documentarist. Okay. And they both spoke to us during these Creative Futures Week. Just listening to them in the industry and what they do is... It, quite inspirational, kind of, yeah, makes you feel really, like you want yeah, to be in their shoes, was, really. yeah. Going back to your first year, are there any modules which stood out for you? Any you didn't like, any you did like? Product photography is a big, major thing in photography right now. Right. And product photography is now being taken over by cgi we had lee stanley help us like mm. learn all about how it connects but oh, i hated <laughs> it but even though i hated it it's definitely the best thing to learn right now because it's just being dominated in the photography department we learned about zines so zines and photo books are how artists photographers mm -hmm. make their money we made our own website mm -hmm. we learned to studio photography we learned the basics and that was a great thing about first year and i've been learning like medium format analog okay. digital but also the thing about university is you can't just learn the practical you have to learn theory yeah, exactly. as well i absolutely love theory right. i love theory and i'm I, I love it even more this year and is that theory that you can apply to your practice yes, side it, and yeah it's, it's more about analyzing images talking about feminism mm -hmm. self-portraiture sexuality age it, okay. everything that we want to photograph and the meaning behind it so just going to give our audience an idea of how big your course is so how many people are roughly we on your course? have about 11 right now okay. uh, we did have 13 last year's first year were was only six and <laughs> is that a positive as well having a small class size, yes it's definitely more a, interaction with lecturers and they're kind of willing to help you it's definitely a good thing i feel like i'm more of a connection mm -hmm. with our teachers it's, it's better communicating with our teachers than it is trying to run around trying to find them i know at some of the universities the class sizes are 100 um, 200 plus yeah, so you yeah. don't get that one-to-one -one interaction no. or book and that's session the greatest thing them. about being new it's known but not well known and you get that interaction more than you would if you went to a london university yeah that personal development and ability to sort of gain skills is really high here it so. is so we're just going to talk a little bit about your lecturers now what experience do they have within the industry we've only got three major staff yeah. 
Yeah. Alexandra Murphy is our core leader. She's been in the theory-based process for about 20 years now. We all go to her more for the theory side than mm-hmm. anything else. And then we've got assisting lecturer Tracy Sherwood. She's been in the industry for 30 years with editorial, publishing, advertising. She is now a food photographer. They work so well together. And then we've had Dr. Eliza Vett and she's taken over the theory lessons for us this okay. year. So lectures um, are really experienced. Yeah, so they're got... really experienced. Yeah. And I, I love that switch between theory and... It's uh, a nice balance between yes. lecturers. And then we've got Nick, who's just joined us this year. He's our technician. Yeah. He is phenomenal. We can go to him and talk yeah. to him about photography. He's definitely changed a lot of things this year and we're really grateful for him. Sounds like you have a really good teaching team there. So just going to touch on some of the equipment you use. So I know you mentioned previously you've got technicians. Is it industry leading? We don't just look at industry basics. We look at analogue photography, right. dark room. We do work with printing and how it can mm-hmm. be tied in with photography. We just did silk screen printing just oh, the nice. other day and seeing an <laughs> image on the computer turn to something on the paper it's great yeah absolutely phenomenal you don't normally get that balance mm-hmm. it's really nice to learn how to shoot on an analog camera if you're listening today you might be interested in potentially studying this course at bnu so how would potential students find out more information about a course so i'm on our tap platform on the website i'm always available if i'm not i always reply within 24 hours tap is a chat feature on a website so if you want to talk to any of our current students such as tori you can just click on the chat to students and staff button and then you get to speak to amazing people like tori um, are you aware of a social media account that photography have do they yes have a we do yes we okay. do it's a brand new photography Great. on instagram if you check out the course page we have have our own course blog where we're all writing stuff for it right. and we have like student features guest speakers student work to look at a bunch of different things so there's a whole lot of information out there if you're interested in studying photography yeah. just look at our website and social media channels and you'll find mm-hmm. what you want what inspires you in the world of photography what made you get into photography in the first place i just finished school um and i did a mixed media college course it was photography graphics and i loved photography more than right. anything and i got my first camera at the age of 17. I've just been a travel street photographer. I take photos of whatever I love. I, I love yeah. architecture and I love street. You said you're off to London. So this yeah, I'm, 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 pi- we're going for a course trip, so right. we're going to some printing studios. Yeah, also it's such a benefit of BNU. We're so close to London. It's yes. literally a 45 so, minute yeah. or 30 minute yeah, well, it's train great. journey, depending on where you're going. I got into university because I thought, why not? Why not now? And I don't think I'll ever look back. Like, I don't think I'll ever not want to be a photographer. Have you got any future plans after university? We had a talk from Rob Parker, who's the head of Assist London. And he talks about if you want to be a photographer in a company, Mm -hmm. they want you to have studio experience. And he represents studio assistants and digital retouches. I'm on the fence about working for Rob, but also because I love theory, so much I'm actually thinking about doing an MA in either art history or gallery creating museums and art galleries have always been a passion of mine so doing a master's in gallery but I'm not too sure yet I think that's a good thing about your course is that there are so many varied modules. Yes, there so is. So although it's a photography degree, there are so many specialist modules you can choose what you want to study. Yeah. And then you can kind of specialise that after mm. university or go on to study a master's, like you say. Yeah. So we've kind of touched on this previously, but what opportunities have you had to engage with the industry? So we've had editorial photographer called Seminar. November last year, we had him come in and we did a whole photo shoot day where mm-hmm. we had a model, we had makeup, we were the assistants, and he showed us how to do an actual fashion photo shoot. Oh. Okay, how did you find that? I definitely learned enough for me to do my own photo shoot with fashion and creating advertising. Mm. And the greatest thing about being new is you can interact with different courses. Final question for today is what would you say to potential students who are looking to study at BNU? Don't be afraid. Photography is actually an industry you can make money out of. The greatest thing about being new is you learn from the very start. It's always the greatest thing to learn a new skill. Photography will always be my favourite thing in the world. I think that's actually a really nice point to end on so thank you for joining today and thank you for listening thank you very much more information will be available on our website at bucks.ac.uk